Hey, what's up, guys? Guys, and welcome back to our YouTube channel. And today we'll be talking about the Passavant Ridge. Hey, I um, get my stuff. Okay, so um, the question was um, comment briefly on the Passavant Ridge. Okay, um, this is just images for illustration. Uh, you could see from here, you could observe that the Passavant Ridge is actually circular. All right. Just um, keep that idea in one side of your head because you relate back to it. Now, we said that the Passavant Ridge uh, is in the posterior wall of the oropharynx, okay? Right? Posterior to the oropharynx, okay? Now, um, this is due to the circular fibers of the palatopharynges. That's why I told you that it was circular, right? Now you relate it, right? Uh, it's due to the circular fibers of the palatopharynges, right? Now, the passavant ridge acts as a sphincter, all right? Now, together with the soft palate, it closes the nasopharynx during swallowing, okay? That's, uh, we have discussed um, the location of the, the passavant ridge, uh, the muscle composition of the passavant ridge, and we have discussed the action of the passavant ridge, okay? Now, let's just um, talk about this picture too. Passavant ridge. It's a mucosa ridge um, raised by the fibers of our palatopharynges and the superior constrictor. It encycles the posterior and the lateral wall of the nasopharyngeal isthmus. Um, during deglutition of speech, um, soft palate comes in contact with the ridge to cut off the nasopharynx from the oropharynx. Okay, so either this or that, you are good to go. And with this, we are done talking about the passavant ridge. See you guys in the next tutorial. Bye for now.